I've got plenty of filleting knives, there's no doubt about that, but this is my favourite. It's one of the old bone handled knives that our grandmothers would have had a draw full of. This one in particular has a good blade, it's got a little bit of flex and it sharpens beautifully. The handle broke on it some years ago, so I replaced it with a piece of dowel. You'll notice too that the dowel is on a bit of an angle to the blade. That gives it a much better feel in my hand. And I can also grab the blade and the handle at the same time, which gives me a lot better control. I particularly like using this knife to fill at whiting and a lot of those other small school fish. The rounded end on it helps to run over the bones and the rib cage, and I reckon I get better recovery from the fillets with this knife. I always like to try and scale fish before I bring them home. Whether I'm on a beach, out in the boat, it gets rid of a lot of mess. It makes filleting a lot easier once you get home. As soon as I've caught fish, first thing I do is put them on ice. Keeping the fish in top condition makes filleting afterwards a lot easier. When I fillet fish like this, I start by making two cuts. One just behind the head on one side of the backbone, and then I make another small cut just the other side. I go back to the start and then run the knife all the way down and just free that fillet from the backbone and the rib cage. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Once I've finished with the fillets, I take the knife, put it under the pectoral fin and slice up towards the head. I run the knife around the fish, do both sides, and this part then allows me to grab the fish with the fillets and the head, stomach and backbone all come away in a nice, neat, clean manner. Keep in mind that this method may not suit everybody. Once you've removed the head, backbone and stomach and you've got the two fillets joined together, there are a few bones left around that rib cage area. Now these don't really bother me, but if they were bigger fish I'd probably cut them out. But at this size, I don't think it's that necessary, but that's just my own personal preference. When I fillet fish, I always try to avoid washing the fillets in water afterwards. Whether it's salt water or fresh water, I don't think it does the flesh any good at all.
got a very simple setup here to fillet fish on. It's just one half of an old double sink. I set that on top of a tub, a very large shopping board. I move all of the frames, heads, guts into the sink part. Nothing gets wasted. I'll either use that as crab bait or take it down to the beach next time I want to get worms. Once you've got all the fillets done, remember you can always trim them up afterwards if you so desire. But as I said earlier, for me it doesn't really bother me that much. 